Good morning. It is Tuesday morning and we are on our way to do one of our biggest ever bulk food hauls. We're in the Beast Bus because that's how much stuff we're getting. So they had a lot of good distressed items this week as well as things that we were just running out of which is it amazes me but because of our family size it does appear that we're just going through more food so we're gonna run a couple errands and show you guys how much food we are getting janelle and charity are headed into kohl's i think they're going to get a few gifts and um let's see and other things. Uh, they have $30 off of 50 I think, or something like that. Uh, Janelle will tell you all about it when she gets out, I'm sure. Just happens to be that next to Kohl's is a tractor supply company. So we're going to go there and see what neat things they have. Peter will love that. AT, uh, there's an ATV down there. Where? Right there. Ah. Oh, it looks what? good. It looks like that one. You would like that one. It's camel. What do you like that, Peter? Only $8,000. That's a lot. We can never buy that. You have a, you have a BB gun. Look at Is this what? Chest waders? Yeah. Cool. Those, are, those are giant. Those are actually bib overalls. Cool. Look at that camel. Look okay, I'm wearing this. Oh, yeah. You do have the same ones. But look at these. Those actually are almost Peter's size. No, this one is probably my size. I think this one would be fit, too. What do you want, Lydia? The pink muck boots. The pink muck boots. Oh, yeah, those are nice muck boots. Daddy. And who wants a windmill? And there's a wagon like our wagon. Jack, nice. You're not getting blood, Pete. They're cool, anyway. They might be cool, but they're expensive. How much are they? One's 1999, 1999, 1299, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, 1999, Oh, uh, John wants to look at the tramp. Daddy, look at this, look at this. There's more, there's camel. Orange hat! That we saw in the newspaper. Cool, look at that, what is that? Oh, this, I like this place too. Oh, wheels, cool, wheels. Uh -oh. This has good grip. Daddy. What? I always pick off those pokey things. <laughs> well, let's not pick it off, it's not yours. You know what those little pokey things are? Grip. No, those are where they made the wheel. They they inject the rubber in through those things, and that's just a, it's just an incidental thing. Even Grace wants to check out the wheels. Feels hairy, Mary. Get this. This is heavy duty. That's like your come along. It is your come along. Right. What is that? That would be for like big, huge things. It's for trains. Dad, look, cowboy boots. Oh, Lydia, you'd look good in cowboy boots. Do you think the little baby needs some of these? Yeah, nope. they do. Yeah. No. Little baby John nope. Deere socks. Yeah. Cool. That's nice. uh, John size go kart. Actually, I could probably even fit in that. I like this. And look at this. You can even hook a trailer up to it. We can put our wagon on there. Hey, John, do you think it would look cool if I um, if I was riding that down the street with the wagon on the back with a whole bunch of kids in it? Yeah. No. You'd like that? Yeah. $299. No, $199. But it was already sold, though. Good mommy. There, there was so much, so much camel. It was beautiful. Because my mom and my dad is sick, and my mom had $20. She gave that to me because she goes, I'm not going to get there before it expires, and I don't want it to go bad. I wanted to get a, a tank for the birth. This was on the clearance rack for $10.80, and it's reversible, and I think it'll be perfect for the birth. Charity and I started looking. Oh, it's bad to look. It's yes, really it is. Bad. And I found two things. Now, for you, those of you who watch our channel a lot, you know that I love the Chaps brand. They're really nice, classy clothing that holds up really well. And I found this. It's for a hot date for Daddy. <laughs> okay. But 
That was um, normally a hundred, and I got it for well, there's 15% off thirty dollars. But remember, I still had my mom's money, and then I was almost all set. And then I found this, and I said to Charity, "Should I get this or not?" This it was 14.40 with another 15% off. Again, it's another dress, but what made it? Why I got it was because this has a built-in sports bra which actually could be used as a nursing dress. And those are extremely hard to find. So Charity says, you know, I really think you should get it. So here it is, a nursing dress. So I spent all of $22 on those three items. And I saved, and I know it's all relative on um, their prices, but I total saved $162.50. Not too bad, right? Not yes, it's pretty good. So after you take the money off and everything, I ended up paying four dollars and eighteen cents for the bra, eleven sixty four for the chaps dress, and for this nice nursing dress, five dollars and sixty cents. It's not bad. That's Almost pretty good. Not as good as garage sale prices, but how many garage sales would you go to before you found that? A lot. Like probably hundreds. Hundreds to yeah. find this combination. You spend that much in gas. And it's winter time, so. Uh, I'm happy. We're here. This is the place we like to go. That's like Karen and the little lost kitten. Is that the place where you belong? And the kitten said, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, look at that truck. Oh, look at that. That's pretty exciting. Hey, it's got that little mini tower yep. thing. Yep. Uh -huh. One of our viewers sent this to us. It's really good. And, uh, it's so, really good. <laughs> you, you like Easy Cheese? Yeah. I like it. I wish yeah. Daddy had it before. Yeah. Okay, well, here we go. L, Y, D, I, A. Where's your piece of bread? Good, yeah. M, A, R, Y. Quite a good time at Tractor Supply Company. John had a good time? I had a good time. 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 Oh. Charity, did you like Kohl's? Yep. That was fun. I found a nice dress there. It was like brown. It was gray. And it was really pretty. But it, Mommy didn't like the car. Me, so we didn't get it. LGB. Oh, yeah. Grace, did you like... Grace, did you like Tractor Supply Company? There goes Daddy down the stairs, and soon the cart will come out. Here comes Daddy. Let's go look. Let's go look. I have to first open up the door. It's going to come out right out that door. <laughs> Everybody is eagerly waiting for this stuff. No, I'm eagerly waiting. Grace, Grace is left up there. Oh. Comes. Here comes her. I don't know how much stuff. A lot of it too. Let's hope it all fits. <laughs> I think it will. All raisins. I just love raisins. I see raisins. We got some construction over here. They're building a fire truck repair station thingy. It must be septic. I think they're doing the septic system. They're using a bulldozer right now. That's I'm gonna hand the. To, I'm going to. Truck. I'm gonna hand the camera to Peter so that Peter can take some good videos and he'll give you a running commentary. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> that is as cool as camo. Other than that, probably couldn't go on a forest because that's yellow. Just paint it camo. <laughs> I was telling Peter that watching these diggers is a good education for him. Privates, go get yourself some education. <laughs> there comes yes. Daddy. I don't see any more. Uh, trust me, there's more. Uh, no, no. There isn't. I thought we were going by bacon. After making a ton of running around and everything, we decided to stop at our 
much closer bulk food dis distributor. And several months ago, it was probably closer to a year ago, I had asked about distressed or damaged goods. I asked again about it and they told me, well, there's a cart, come back here, you can check it out. So I went to that cart and found tons of goodies. We're gonna do a major haul after this, so you guys can definitely check that out. There is a ton of great stuff we got really at great fun. prices, and I am so glad we had the Beast Bus because there is no way we would've fit this in our other vehicle. But at the moment, we're at the post office, Art's checking the P.O. box, it's been a couple days since we've done that, and then we've gotta zip home and put little people down for naps. Oh, I guess Mary's already uh, asleep like, back totally. there. Oh dear. Yeah. Uh, I can't win them all. Like we are still waiting for Daddy. So there must be something in the peel box. I was saying, I was saying that maybe there are so many packages that it, it will take like forever for them to get them all. Would we have room in the Beast Bus with all this uh, food? Oh wow! Wow! wow. Whoa. All right, there's a quick look at all the food that we got. That's a lot of food. One of you guys told me that you guys were going to be sending us something to the baby. And it is... Diapers. and Diapers. Wipers. Some of you guys have asked about whether we use cloth diapers or not, and how we usually do it is cloth diapers happen usually between six months and nine months of age and upwards, but in the early first couple months, we stick with plastic. It's just a little bit too hard for me to juggle a large family, a new baby, cloth diapers. So these are gonna be super, super useful. Thank you so much, Becky. I really, I really appreciate this. And I am sure the baby is going to get lots of use out of them. This is another baby gift. Baby. Oh, it says happy anniversary on it. And look at this. Oh, 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 look at this. Daddy, do you remember when we saw those at TCS? Oh, yes. Are the funny thing is, we ju I just mentioned those. I just we that just saw so those. Funny. We just saw those. Those are adorable. I love them. All my zombies are John. Obviously, she must be thinking we're having a boy. I absolutely cannot wait to see the baby. I'll be praying and please know how much you both are loved as this baby means. Melinda, Allen, Brandon, thank you very much. You just I'm still over. in the mood of purging, even though I just bought all that food. And we're doing white fish tonight with jalapeno pe I love peppers. It. Now the jalapeno peppers were in the freezer. I showed you guys in my bucket uh, to get rid of. I broil the skins off of them and then I slice them real thin and I put it on my fish with some oh, mayonnaise nice. and some cheese. And, oh, it is so Peter wonderful. Me. I haven't made this in a long time, but Peter absolutely loves this recipe. And it was a good way to use up the jalapenos. They're not quite ready yet. If you guys have never done this before, you broil the jalapeno peppers, the skins, until they start to blacken and peel a little bit. And then the skins will just peel right off and you can just slice up the peppers beautifully. Mm -hmm. And they're great for cooking in dishes like this. I took the fish, I spread it with some mayonnaise and then I'm gonna do salt and pepper and then we'll lay these peppers on top of them. Put salt and pepper on each of these and then I just lay the strips of jalapeno mm -hmm. pepper on here. Obviously you want it spaced out otherwise you're gonna lose your taste buds. And then this is just some shredded, um, this is just some cheddar cheese. And I just lay that on top of the fish like that. And then we will cook it until it's done. And it is super yummy. And I left one over here for people who don't care for the jalapenos. The fish is done and this is what it looks like. It looks really good. I just so want to dig into one. 